We're making hay. Hello everybody, welcome to Bales Hay Farm and Ranch. I'm Trevor Bales. See, it's pretty boring. It's gonna be a super short video, but I figured I cannot show you only the good. I gotta show you the bad too, or at least show you the boring. It's raining. So there's not a lot going on. One thing, they're changing oil. I'll show you some of that. And then also, one thing that does come good with the rain, we have a lot of traffic in and out of our farm up and down this main road that comes into our place. And it gets hard as a rock. So I'm gonna jump in a little tractor that's got a scraper bucket hooked up to it. I'm just gonna drag this uh, road for a while and hopefully things soften up a bit. Other than that, they're doing some service stuff in the, in the, uh, in the shop. Uh, that's about it. I'm gonna go run to uh, the place I bought a new. I didn't buy a new gun. Um, I need to buy a new magazine for a gun. I want a bigger, I want a bigger magazine. So anyways, that's all I'm doing. I do need to go look, we're running out of space in our office. So I got to run into, uh, and look at, you know, those wooden buildings you see on, on Facebook all the time for sale where, and people turn them into like, uh, storages or tiny houses or whatnot. I need to go buy one of those. We are out of room in our office. It, it's, which it's ridiculous how little room we have. So my dad said, how about we get one of those? We have add insulate it, put a wall walls inside of it, whatever, and then uh, throw an AC unit on it, and then that could be his and my space outside, and then we have more space inside the office. So I thought that's a pretty cool idea. I like it. Uh, we have a place to put it. So and that's a temporary fix to a long term fix. Long term fix is we need to build a new space. We need to build a bigger store. We need to build bigger bag feed areas. Once we figure out what we want to do with the bigger bag feed, bigger store, where we want to build it, what style we want, how many square foot, then we can attack that. Unfortunately, we're not very good at planning ahead. We're, we're, we're trying to get better at it. Like he asked me, what's your 25 year goal? What's your 25 year plan? I don't know. So, uh, yeah, so for to solve this problem, we're going to get a little, I need to go look at a little wooden building. It's a little wettish. Oh, that guy's going to want that thing tinted soon. I'm an idiot and tinted the other one right before we traded it in. It's got a brand new tire on it. Cool. Check the oil and let's get going. Man, I would love to uh, upgrade this tractor. Ooh, air conditioning's on. It was warm yesterday, two days ago. All right. Down, up, we're good. And really, I'm just gonna set this at one level and let it ride. And tear up the ground, the floor, the gravel. I just jumped out of the tractor to introduce you to someone. I've never done this before, but I thought, why not? Someone's grandpa is here. Hi, Gordon. How you doing? Who am I with? You can introduce yourself. I'm Ken Knievel. Ken, Ken, Ken Knievel, you guys. Guess what? Guess who he's related to? You Evil wanna tell him? Knievel. Evil Knievel. Where do you farm? <laughs> Colorado. Colorado, what parts? North, up around Windsor. Up around Windsor, Colorado. Well, anyways, he just in the came by to say hi. They're in town because of our weather. Unfortunately, it's raining, raining, raining today. Of course, I'd like to say hi to his grandson and yeah. anyone else that and, watches the show. My daughter and son-in-law, and that's it. So. Awesome. Anyway, thank oh, you. Thanks for stopping okay. by. We'll see it. And tell me your grandson's name again. Gordon. Gordon, you've got a great grandpa. <laughs> okay. Back to dra dragging gravel. See this thing? It's as hard as a rock. And then the, all these little bumps, you fill them in a truck. There was those guys checking diesel. Look at all that gravel rolling. Pretty boring. So 
So kind of kind of crazy. The uh, the the guy we just met, his daughter is a neurosurgeon here in Phoenix. My cousin married is married to a neurosurgeon here in Phoenix as well, Mark Garrett. So I texted him, hey, do you know Dr. Knievel? He said, yep, I do. I figured it's a small uh, small community in neurosurgeons, right? Unfortunately, so I'm not blood related to Mark, so I'm not that smart. My cousin married him. Um, you know, I don't have that kind of stuff running in my family genetics, so. Well, no, I take that back. There are a lot of doctors, there's a few doctors on my mom's side. I feel like Forrest Gump, like when I'm old and retired, I'm just gonna be dragging this driveway. Maybe people like in and out. I'm just be this old man dragging the driveway because I'm old and crotchety and I get grouchy when the driveway gets rough. <laughs> like, because Forrest Gump drove the lawnmower. Yeah, you, if you're young, you don't know Forrest Gump. You've not watched it, watch it. I call my cousin, he has a, a mine. And they, they they take rock and they crush it. And so he has a lot of gravel. And I was hoping they were slow today because of the rain. They could bring me some gravel, but they are slow, so he sent his guys home. So he's saying tomorrow they'll bring us some gravel. This road is constantly just pushes the gravel right down into the dirt. And it gets rough. I warned you guys, this is gonna be a boring video, sorry. There's a tractor. Kind of sad though, this is the most time I've spent in a tractor in quite a while. I guess I'll see you guys when something, when I get out of this tractor and it's more interesting. You know what's cool about cameras? It's been two days and you guys don't even know it. I just told you, so that's the only way you know. I'm still messing, yeah, I know, two days later, and I'm still messing with this, uh, the driveway. After the rain, it's only like a quarter of an inch, not very much but they've been too busy to bring us gravel, pea gravel, like this stuff right here. Well, he'll be here in like 30 minutes, so I'm gonna warm up the tractor, and we're going to smooth some gravel. It's just coming from across the street, uh, so I'm kind of looking to see if I can see him, and we're gonna move some gravel out, so that's what we're doing right now. Here's our truck. I'm gonna need several loads like this. Sweet. He uh, he said he can spread a little bit. He doesn't have to only dump it. What's going on here? Oh, here we go. Awesome. Man, I should have uh, I should have videoed driving down the driveway before the gravel is all spread. Oh, it's so nice, it's so nice and smooth. I love it. Yes. All this area, I would love to gravel. That does a few things. One, it keeps the dust down. It. I've I've got a buddy that he's got. Uh, barns like mine and he has gravel everywhere so it keeps the dust down and two it's easier to smooth it out with the gravel smooths out easier than dirt the dirt gets kind of hard and packed in and uh it just smooths out better yeah so 250 dollars times 50 load that's twelve thousand five hundred dollars uh maybe if i just do a, like five loads a year for 10 years okay i'm gonna have to do more than five loads a year Anyways, I don't know, it's just something I like to do. It's not imperative. It doesn't, we don't need it to make this business run. It would just be nice to have. It makes your equipment last longer. It keeps the dust down in the air filters and it's smoother for your operators. All right, let's go look at this hay. I've got a friend that he's, he's completely out of hay, but he's got a customer in Texas. He just really needs some hay. And this is really all the nicest hay I have left. It's not anything fancy. It's kind of bigger stemmed, but, uh, and it's green and it's leafy. To a lot of you guys, you might think this is fancy, but to uh, Arizonans and Texas, this is, uh, this is, it's good hay. I'm not, don't, don't get me wrong, it's good hay. It's just not awesome premium hay that people want. The stems are just a little bigger than most people like. Ironically, 
this is what's better for your horse, a little bit bigger stem. So, whatever. All right. I'm gonna take some pictures, and that's the end of the show. Hope you guys enjoyed it. Kind of boring. Rain, gravel, a little bit of tractor work. Thanks for watching. I've got a surprise in the next video for you. Thanks.